everyone. Um, I just thought I'd do a video. My hair is a wreck. I just got out of bed. Um, but I just thought I would do a video, a vlog type thing just to put up. I don't even know if I'll make it through this one to put up, but we'll see. So, you helping the little kids get dressed? Um, Matt is getting dressed upstairs. Go help, please. Okay. Because we'll need your help, and then I need extra clothes for both. So, um, this is what happens when we have an appointment early in the morning. Um, I have an appointment at 1030 and it's 920 now. Um, I can't do this one handed. Uh, hold on. It's nine. Whoops. It's 920 now. Um, and I just got out of bed. So I'll explain all that when I tell you guys about my medication and like the stuff. But basically I don't sleep very well. And when I do get to sleep, I sleep really hard and I have to sleep for like eight hours or my body won't get up. Um, so yeah, pretty tired, but um, still okay. Let's open a bunch of these. So I have an appointment at 10.30. It's 9.20 now. We have to leave a little before 10 probably to get there on time. Uh, it's at a place called Oahu Spine and Rehab. So it's for my neck and back pain. Um, I meet with the doc today to go over x-rays. So since we're kind of rushing, the kids have been up for a little while. They've just been kind of hanging out watching TV um, and eating yogurt. You're watching Sing this morning. You're watching Sing? Okay, I need you to go get a thing of extra clothes for in the bag. Okay. Um, yeah, so what I typically do on days like this when we have to get out the door, I'm making my coffee right now to take with me. I make the kids these, um, I'll show you the box. So they're these Jimmy Dean pancake and sausage on a stick and they're microwavable. They're like corn dogs, but they've got sausage inside and then the outside is pancake batter. They're not the healthiest thing in the world, but they work if you need to get out the door quickly. Um, cause what I'm doing is I'm just making a bunch of them and sticking them in a bowl and then we'll eat them in the car. Um, they take about a minute each. So I know they're not the healthiest, but it works on days like this when we have to get out the door and I don't have time to get them anything else. So yeah, hopefully we can, thank you buddy, get organized, get in the car. Um, they don't have high fructose corn syrup in it, which is the main thing that I look for when I'm looking at stuff for them to eat, like their snacks and their food. Um, I need extra underwear too. Okay. Um, I won't buy anything with high fructose corn syrup in it. Or we, we try not to buy anything. Some of the other stuff like, Madison, you get underwear. Some of the, some of the stuff like, we don't, I can't help it. Like it's in there. Um, but most of the stuff we definitely look and we will not buy it. Like our, um, syrup for like pancakes and stuff does not have high fructose corn syrup. Um, it's just the, you guys, look at these. I can't flip it around now. Look at these ants on my counter. I don't know if you can see them. I've been battling them for days and they just will not go away. And a friend told me that if you have to kill the scouter ants so that they won't go back and tell the colony to move in. So I've been killing them all, but for some reason they're still showing up. She said you have to get all of them too. Like if there's even a few that make it back. Sorry, they'll tell. Hold on, Madison. When we get there, I'm going to wear these. No, you're wearing what you have on. Um, no, stop that. Yeah, so battling ants. But that's something in the housing here that just happens. You guys, go please. Brayden, go get the backpack ready. Um, Get the backpack ready. But yeah, so that's just something that happens here. We have a lot of bugs, a lot of bug problems. A lot of the houses have the bug problems. There's nothing to really be done about it. Like you can call Orkin or whatever to come out and spray, but you have to pay them and housing won't pay them and housing won't spray. So it's one of the downfalls of living in base housing, but what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna finish getting our breakfast ready because I know you guys are probably getting sick from the movement and I have coffee to get ready so I will see you guys in a little bit. Trying to get ready to go out the door. Hello. 
So hopefully we've got everything. We've got a backpack full of snacks and a change of clothes because the place that we're going, hold on Maddie, the place that we're going has a little daycare, free childcare area. So the kids normally go there while I'm doing my appointment. Um, and hopefully we've got everything. Sit down baby, get buckled, come on. It's white, mystery white? I think so. Yeah, because it's Maddie, it's Come on, babe. I can see it. It's under the neighbor's truck over there. The one with the baby. Yeah, you found the kitty outside? Uh-huh. Come on, big girl. It's under that red truck. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. Here, you gonna do one? because it like wobbles. So we're finally on our way. It's a balmy 82 degrees here, which isn't horrible. It's just the humidity makes it really hot. So it's not too bad. It's definitely getting warmer though, but it's definitely not summer heat yet. So it's kind of in between. You walk outside and it's a little hard to breathe, but you're not dripping sweat completely yet. So not too bad. We have to go to the other side of the island for my appointment um, in Kailua or Kaneohe. Um, Kebe. So that's why we have to leave so early because it takes a little bit to get over there. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. So I have, um, I got disability when I got out of the military and I got, uh, I think it's like 30 or 40 percent but um I have a bad back I have um scoliosis degenerative de degenerative disc disease and sciatica all in my lower back oh and a bulging disc and then I recently found out when I started doing chiropractic care in Virginia that my neck is really messed up too which I didn't even know like I had no idea so the first appointment that I went to they worked on my back a little bit and then this Next, last appointment that I went to on Tuesday, um, we decided to do my neck because I had injured my neck. I was, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those car vlogs with, uh, I can't remember his name. I'll link his Facebook page in the description. I can never remember his name, but he does those really funny car vlogs where he's like dancing really hardcore with his mom. Well, he did one with his friend, and one of the songs they were singing was, um, I want something just like this, do, do, do. Well, the, the friend headbangs in it, so I was trying to replicate that, and I pulled something in my neck. That's what I get for headbanging at 30. It does not work the same for us. So, um, I don't know if they're going to put tape on my neck again, baby. I had the K-tape on. You guys saw that in yesterday's video. Um, or not yesterday's video, the previous video, they did the, like, um, it's called K-Tape. I don't know what the name of it is, but, um, they call it K-Tape. It's, um, to help pull the fascia up and get blood flow going and help the skin rehydrate so that it helps with the injury. I guess a lot of, like, sports players use it. I don't know. I've never heard of it before. I've seen people wearing it, but I'd never heard of it. So, it was interesting. I think it definitely helped. I can feel it tonight not having it on or today um because I slept last night with it not on and my neck and my back feel off again so maybe it really did help I don't know maybe it helped more than I thought it did uh my skin is really tender though so it did leave my arms and shoulders my it did leave this pretty red afterwards 
but I took off my makeup last night and did a face mask and it seemed to have improved after that so it looks like it worked um, they said there's no difference between the different colors of tape but that some people will say oh the pink didn't work as much the blue works better or I like the black um, so I don't know I think it definitely did help like I felt like it helped so I put too much creamer in my coffee because it's like cold Ugh. so we might just stick with the Mio today <laughs> so we got the kids in the car and we're on our way um, we have a really jam-packed day today, actually. I have to, um, we have appointments this afternoon, too. We're meeting with, um, Brayden's psychiatrist, psychologist that he's gonna start seeing, and we have to do the parent meeting first, which my husband's gonna stay home with the kids while I go, and then I have therapy at three. So, um, yep, that's Brayden, baby. So I'm gonna be up there, um, it's like a 20 minute drive from our house, so I'm gonna be there for a while, a few hours. But I'm excited to go to therapy. I love going to therapy. <laughs> love going to therapy. It's like the highlight of my week. I get to talk everything out and work through stuff. So yeah, we're going with some friends on a boat on Saturday. I'm gonna try to vlog that too. My friends don't know that I started uh, doing videos again. I don't think they ever knew that I did videos. I said that in one of my previous ones on the other pay channel um, that I tried to keep it separate just because I want to be really candid here and I don't want to hurt feelings but I want to be honest at the same time. So I don't know if I'll tell my friends that I vlog. I don't know if I'll show them the channel. They'll probably find the channel on their own um, because I do have a Facebook page and an Instagram that I've been using too. So I mean if they follow it from there then they'll definitely find it but I just don't boost it on my page or share it or anything like that I just if they find it organically then they find it so um it's been good so far we shall see but I'm gonna um I want to get some footage for you guys to show you this I left without my watch and my arm feels naked um yeah but I want to get some footage for you guys I'll show you some of the mountains it's gorgeous Like it's supposed to be at a plus 40 angle and mine's at a negative four. So it's like up here and it's supposed to be way back here. Um, so working on getting that fixed, I'm going to be going to their office three times a week, which is really exciting because it's like mom self care time that I get because they have a um, free childcare room for while you're at your appointment. So that's super awesome. I'm really excited about that. Um, so right now I'm actually headed to the Kate Spade outlet near us because they're having their 70% um, off your entire purchase sale, which is phenomenal. Um, and I'm actually gonna do a giveaway for my LuLaRoe group for when we hit a thousand members. So I figured what better way to get it than to get it while it's on sale. So it's actually raining here right now, which is not super fun. Um, I hate the rain, especially here because it's just normally so beautiful and then you get the rain and you're like, Ugh, well, it just makes everything worse and it makes it like really dreary. So after the Kate Spade outlet, my plan is to go home and put sweatpants slash leggings on, probably leggings, put some leggings on and then we're just going to do, whoa, all right now, we're just going to do a family movie night at home.
made it through the downpour. It was nuts. This place got nuts because everybody was trying to hide. Got some awesome stuff, including a wallet for myself, which I was not supposed to get, but whatever. Um, it was on sale. They were doing the 70% off sale, so it was super cheap. So, yeah. I'm done at the outlets. Now I'm going to head back home. I think we're going to do a family movie night. I think I said that already, but it was when the rain was crazy. So we're going to do a family movie night. Um, watch Fantastic Beasts. Um, because Brayden has been asking to watch that. So that is our plans for the rest of the evening. I might try to get a little vlogging in, but I think I'm probably almost done for the day. Um, yeah. There, oh, therapy went really good. I forgot to um, update you guys on that, but therapy went really good, so that's really exciting. And I met with Brayden's therapist, and she's amazing. So yeah, so we had a really good day. Um, like I said, I'll try to vlog a little bit later, but if not, then I will catch you guys tomorrow.